So we're home after that trip to Virginia to see Todd and Lisa for Christmas. And uh, while we were out with the camper, I noticed that there's a lot of dirty places like this. It's just, you know, if you have something that sits around, it just, that stuff just gets on it. I, I don't know why it's like, it's just stuff that attaches yourself. But we got some muddy tires from coming in in the rain last night. And I noticed back here, there's a lot of really stuff that looks like that. That old dark, you know, stuff that gets on. So before I put it back away, see how dirty that is. Before I put it back away, I'm just gonna take it down here and pressure wash it, and then I'll get Honey Baby to help me. Oh, I'm also gonna mow inside where it goes down in that shed, because grass and weeds tend to grow up under it. And I try to trim them back, but when it's out of there, it's easy to take the big mower if it cranks, and it should be run about now, uh, and get that out. Some mud up in here and stuff. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull this down there. When I washed, pressure washed that trailer the other day, that red one, Man, that pressure washer did an awesome job of taking that old green, that old green nasty stuff. That, see how dirty that is in there? It cleaned that old green nasty stuff off that grows over the years, you know. I was really proud of it. So, I'll pull this down there, wash it, check the tanks. Everything that needs to be done, and then we'll put it away. But put those stairs in. Yeah, it, I can pull it with the stairs down, but it's rough on the stairs. That's all I'm saying about that right there. Must have been some kind of serious rain and wind because, you know, I moved rat rod out of here to kind of keep it out of the weather while I was gone. There is mud all blown up all out in here. There wasn't any dirt in here when I left. Mud, water, man, it must have been, it must have been one heck of a rainstorm. And I noticed the water inside the garage you know last night I, I came down here to unlock everything i noticed there's some water up in here on the floor you can see kind of a wet spot up there under the rat rod so well, we must have a lot of rain and i guess we missed it of course there was a lot of rain coming back yesterday we was driving in quite a downpour anyway glad that's over with old faithful started right up I ain't had it running a couple of months now. You can see what I got over here. I don't know what that thing is, but it's it's growing. Let's move that down. Well, I don't know what these things under here are. Look at that. And that. <laughs> wonder what the heck made that. That's weird. Hmm. That looks like a maple tree right there. Yeah, let's cut it down. tree sprouting up over there but I can't get between the blocks in the side these blocks are where the tires need to sit literally if I get it so that my two trailer tires sit inside that blue line it'll be just right now you can see last year I was over the blue line by about three inches or so, but it was still okay. The reason this is here is if it sits here, it's level, but also when the slide comes out, you don't want the slide to run into the side of the building here. So this is my mark to make sure I get on this so I can open my slide without hitting that. Now I'll cut this down later. 
In fact, I can do that. I can snip that out in two with my leather man. I didn't get up in here close because this is my water line right there. And I don't want to mow over my water line. I don't mind mowing over it, but I don't want to mow over that faucet because that would be detrimental to my future water works plans. So, this baby cranked up and ran perfect. I'm glad it did come out. The two John Deere's are both in need of attention. <laughs> Washing it off some might not be as good as I hoped. You know what I might do? I still got some of that mold remover stuff. Works off of regular water hose. I might squirt the whole thing down with that. See, I, I washed here. And you saw a little bit of so this stuff is a 30 second outdoor cleaner, algae mold and mildew remover. I'm gonna start on the back. That's the dirtiest. And uh, I, what I'll do is I'll spray this on and then I'll rinse it down with a pressure washer. This has an automatic thing. You just hook your hose right to it. On and off right here. Has a red button for a little bit and then take the red button off if you want a big lot of spray, which I do. So basically all I gotta do is flip this on and we'll be, we'll be on our way. It's actually a good day to be doing this because it's wet. You're supposed to put it on and then rinse it off before it dries. So, with the sun not shining, that's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna start at the back because that's the dirty one. By the way, I'm using this little Ryobi pressure washer. That's the best pressure washer I ever had. It's the least amount of trouble and it's the easiest to use. I dig it. Just saying, I dig it. that's about done some of the stickers came off I tried to be a little more careful toward the end there not to get into the stickers as much but I don't know. hard to avoid it I'm gonna while I got the pressure washer I'm gonna wash this out where all this mud splashed up in here and I might wash these doors off I notice they're starting to get that same kind of nasty look about them so Maybe I can put you on a camera over here. And we'll see. Kind of washing the building off too, over here. Got pretty dusty. Not a bad idea, probably to wash it every so often.
it's interesting where you can find art sometimes. I put something on Facebook about life imitating art and maybe art should imitate life, but look at that. I mean, that looks like something. Some kind of artistic creation. I think it's actually a kind of a combination of, I don't know, maybe that was some battery acid and oil, or I don't even know, but man, kind of interesting. All right, I think I'll keep going and wash off the doors over here. Let's see if we can get her in the garage there. 